Well, red flags are up all along the Crystal Coast in Carteret County for a high rip current advisory. Stephen Glover is live at one beach with a look at the conditions there now. Stephen. That's right, Dave. Beach communities in here in Carteret County say it's a perfect day to soak in the sun, but water may be too dangerous to enjoy. Beaches from Emerald Isle to Fort Macon are waving red flags as conditions for dangerous rip currents are high issued by the National Weather Service. Each beach along the Crystal Coast has different enforcement under the red flag advisory, but the same message applies. Be cautious when in the water. One parent says children should be monitored for a day like today. Yeah, keep them close. I wouldn't let them get too far out. Um, they have signs posted all over the beach, kind of advising what not to do and what to do, especially if you do go in the water. So listen to the lifeguards, listen to the signs. And just try to enjoy the sunshine. Some communities, such as Emerald Isle, are advising no swimming under these conditions, while others have lifeguards patrolling the beach and keeping a steady eye on beachgoers. One deputy fire chief advises anyone going to the beach during high rip currents to have someone watching at all times. On red flag days, we strongly discourage anyone from entering the water. Uh, strong swimmers, if you do enter the water, take flotation with you and always swim at least with someone watching the water for you and watching you and if at all possible, swim near a lifeguard. One Atlantic Beach lifeguard I spoke with earlier says red flag days can be dangerous and had to save someone who just got caught in a rip current Wednesday. Jackson says the severity of rip currents depends on their size. They can pull people out well off the beach strand, 100, 200 yards. Uh, it's basically funneling water from the beach back out into the ocean at a, at a rate, a current faster than the water around it is moving. So it can pull you from knee deep water to water over your head in a matter of seconds. And the clear message from the Carteret County beach communities to beach goers is to stay safe, be aware, and definitely don't hesitate to ask for help, especially when riptides are occurring. Live in Atlantic Beach, Stephen Glover, WITN News. All right, thanks, Stephen. For updates on beach conditions and rip currents, you can go to the National Weather Service website or check out Carteret County Beach Community's Facebook pages for more updates.